Hey, hey, and welcome back at cloudbackuping.com and another in-action video on a cloud storage and online backup provider. And as you can see, I'm right in the middle of a backup process here. And this time I'm going to talk about Just Cloud and how Just Cloud works. Probably you've seen my previous video where I uh, talked in general um, about Just Cloud's functionality and features. And this time we're going to have a look at the uh, features in action. So here you can see that I am backing up a folder that contains over 200 gigabyte and I'm 97% through and obviously you have to be patient if you want to upload such quantities of data because depending on your internet connection this can take weeks. But before this process is actually finished and we're going to have a look at the data that has been backed up, let's have a look at um, some of Just Cloud's features here. So with a click on backup settings, you can enter um, into the settings menu where you find, for example, the backup schedule uh, item. The standard backup uh, schedule is daily. And uh, this is actually enough for most of the users because you do not change the folders that much that you want to back up. Or if you want to be more flexible, you can back up to an hourly uh, schedule, which costs uh, extra, unfortunately. But what is more important um, is how you select your file. So you can uh, have an automatic selection, which is the backup documents folder, and it will back up automatically everything that you have in the document folder. But I would always go for the manual backup selection to be sure that you grab all the important files that you want to back up. And another important thing that is not mentioned in the Just Cloud menu is that you have to switch the maximum file size up to unlimited to be sure to back up every file you have because standard is that it's set to one megabyte and you only will back up files that are less than one megabyte and this is actually not a very good standard selection and people might be losing data that way so i encourage you to go into backup settings backup selection and then switch the slide to unlimited also, when you are in the security tab, make sure that you have HTTPS activated that encrypts uh, your connection to just cloud and avoids that uh, some hacker or some unauthorized user might interfere with your data. And then just cloud will encrypt the data again on their service with a 256 AES encryption method. So this is pretty uh, secure from that end. But let's switch back to the backup selection menu that I can show you in depth how the selection would work if you wanted to select a folder that is pretty important to you as I did with my 200 gigabyte uh, project folder here. So with a click on edit selection, you enter into the file selection menu, which is quite easy to use. But nevertheless, I'm going to just go quickly here through the method how you can select your files. Within the file menu, you find this little browser where you can just check or uncheck the folders that you want to back up. So you can see in my case, this folder dubbings is selected and every file, any folder in that in that folder will be automatically backed up. So I could go and select another folder that I want to back up, for example, the downloads folder or I could go to another folder, um, for example, the, do the documents folder. And here on the right hand side, you can find all the contents of that folder and select individual files if you do not want to back up the whole content. So you have a great variety um, of features and flexibility in terms of what kind of data you want to back up. So you can save bandwidth if you are, for example, on a slow internet connection or have a slow uh, PC or Mac, then you can just uh, throttle that here a little bit. So we can see that now, my backup is pretty much uh, finished. And now we want to have a look at the restore process and how we can actually have a look at our files online. That means that I can have access to my files wherever I go and also share the files with other users. So let's head back into Chrome and the Chrome file browser and go into my Just Cloud account here. And as you can see, it is pretty easy to understand how to use the internal um, web client. So you have your PC or Mac that you want to back up and you can view your files um, online, meaning you can also access your files online and browse the files and check whether everything is there and even share folders with colleagues, friends or family. Okay, but now let's exit out of the file browser and dedicate our little video tutorial here to the most important part of your backup routine. What happens when your hard drive actually fails? Of course, you want to restore 
your files. And now we are having a look at how this is going to work with Just Cloud. So we head back to the Just Cloud client and click on restore file. So this is pretty easy to use and you really do not have to mess around with some complicated settings. Now you select your machine that you have backed up with Just Cloud. You can also back up multiple machines at additional costs, but uh, this is also possible with Just Cloud. And you can see the file tree again and select um, the folder, the whole folder, or select just individual folders and files to back up. Say, for example, you're working on an, an, a very important project and uh, suddenly your hard drive fails and you cannot access your PC anymore. But you need your data fast and cannot afford to wait until a 200 gigabyte backup is restored because this is going to take a while even if you have a super fast internet connection. So you can uncheck the files that you do not need and restore only particular files from your backup selection that you are uh, in need right now. So at the right hand side, you can again see the, the different files and I can now say, OK, I want to restore only the part six folder and click on restore selected files. And just cloud gives me the opportunity to save the files in a new folder. For example, I would just create now a folder called just cloud restore that I know that these are the files that I've been restoring with uh, just cloud and I click on choose. And that's basically it. You can see here. Um, the overall progress of your restore. And I really like that overview. So I know exactly which file is being restored and when, and I can see also how much gigabyte are left to be restored. I do not want to restore the whole 1.73 gigabyte here. So I'm just going to cancel the progress and see whether the files are already there, at least partially. So what I do is I browse the location where I stored it. So I was in the cloud backuping folder and here you can see the just cloud restore and it automatically tells you the date or it adds the date to the folder name and you can see the beautiful file tree here and there are already those WAV files that I've been uh, desperately needing for continue working on my project. So um, and obviously this works with any file and any folder that you might want to restore. Okay, hopefully I could show you that JustCloud is pretty easy to use, that it's so easy to store your data in the cloud and be safe of hard drive failure. And if you have any questions or if you are a user of JustCloud and want to share your opinion and your experience with that service, please do leave a comment and I'll get back to you. And also stay tuned for other online backup and cloud storage videos here on cloudbackuping.com. If you like this video, please give it your like on YouTube and share it on Facebook and all other social media that you are using. So thank you very much. I'm Mauricio for cloudbackuping.com and we're going to see us next time.